Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are at Africa Alive. It's been about 20 years since I've been here, so looking forward to exploring. So come along. Now entering Kingdom of the Lion. Cool little statues here. Have to get a quick photo in front of that. Cool little crazy golf course, if that's your thing. Look at the giraffe. Well, it says we can go up here, so that's where we're heading. Don't know whether the lines are up here or what. Where oh where will this bring us out? Quite a cool viewing platform, but pretty high. Looks like there's some sort of little house thing there. They're all over there, the other side of them trees. Should get a better view if we walk around. Well, we've been pretty lucky with the weather. It was absolutely chucking it down all the way down here. And now we got here, we st it stopped. A bit like when I went to Banham Zoo the other week. Oh, quality. Here they are. Having a little doze. Here he is himself, Lion-O. that I spy through the undergrowth. This awesome elephant, or mammoth elephant I should imagine. Like it's made out of bits of rope or something. Oh, it is an African elephant. A few little deets on it. It's in this little building here. I'm not sure if it's a reptile house, but it's a one-way system, so we'll have to have a look when we get around the other side. And here he is, on the other side. That's awesome. We are donning the masks. Right, here we go. What's in here then? Ah, the white rhino enclosure. They seems to be cleaning them out at the minute, so I imagine they'll be outside when we get round the other bit. Look at this fella just chilling out. The punks are tiny Phil. He's thinking about making a dash down the rocks. Has he got the agility? He's going the other way. So his cool socks. Slush puppies. I want some. <laughs> it looks like we're now coming into another viewing platform. And I oh I can see some ostriches. Hi and welcome to the Really Wild Show. Today our guests are the Emu. Unfortunately we couldn't get Rod Hull but he'll be joining us later. Well, this little view tower looks cool. You can see giraffes and the rhinos. Wondering whether he's going to jump in that little pond. Oh, it's nice through here. Little lake. Oh, there's a little baby. Oh. Spot these fellas on the other side. <laughs> Guy's got the map, we know where we're going. Do not feed apples, sandwiches and chocolate. Waders Lake Boardwalk. Here 
there you go. Lovely view. An idea of some of the nature that lives by the lake. Check out the horns on these Angkol cattle. Look how heavy they are. Look at this fella posing for the camera. Sai's got us lost. Sai so has got us lost. Me? <laughs> well, we've been here just over an hour now, and the old tummy is telling me he's getting a bit peckish. Not sure what the food options are here, but I'm sure we'll find something. And don't forget the gift shop. Here's one of the eateries, a little takeout, the Keeper's Hut. You get sandwiches, ice creams and chocolate. Here's a shot of one of the maps. You can scan it on a barcode, but it's quite easy to find your way around, really. Now alongside the cheetah enclosure, it's quite a cool old safari jeep over there. A little climbing platform. We'll have to see if we can see any around here. Whoop! <laughs> now the little piggy pig and mix area. Quite a cool little viewing platform. Oh, oh Is that Pumba? Oh, oh, there's a discrepancy. They're coming this way. Now to tap and still he's found a little dome. <laughs> They're through this little grassy walkway. Here they are, here they are. Pretty springy. Right, we are back at the beginning. We're back at the oh. beginning. We're going to Map Man. We need food. Where's the beginning? There's the gift shop, and we swing round, and it looks like a little cafe this way. Found Bongo Bites, apparently the cafe bit shut, but we'll have a little nosy. Here's the menu for Bongo Bites. Sausage rolls, steak roll. pasty, panini, cheesy chips. Hot dog. Marshmallow and flake in your hot chocolate. Looks like they do ghost ship the crisps. These are a must. Right, here we are, munch time. Show you what we got. Got this mozzarella and tomato panini, which is massive. The ghost ship crisps <laughs> and a cherry Pepsi Max, which will fill me full of wind, but it's worth it. Let's try the old ghost ship. I wonder if it'll be like the beer. It actually tastes really beer -ified. Yeah, pretty decent. Right, food's done. It's pretty decent. For all that little lot was about seven quid, just in case you're wondering. And we're now going to go into the Discovery Centre. Oh, snake. I love snakes, mate. Look at the size of that. Oh, size, yeah. I see the scorpion. Oh, that's all different types of eggs in here. Size of the ostrich egg. There we are. Oh, cockroaches. Just get the best view and angle. Can have a disco. I remember like skating around. I didn't realise. I didn't see the other one. See the massive wind turbine in the background. Ah, oh, here we go. The Lima encounters. Push button to open door. Close. Oh, I'm on the it's exit. Yeah, the <laughs> no, it says closed. Yeah. Oh, it's closed. Well, that was short lived. Right, the Fennec Fox. Oh, look at it in there. Why do batted foxes have big ears? Ah, oh, no punchline. <laughs> well, like I said earlier, it's been about 20 years since I've been to this park. It brings back quite good memories of when we brought my nieces when they were little. I remember trying to stop my youngest niece, Chelsea, from trying to climb into one of the enclosures. She was less pleased. 
What? See there in the background, look like a little cafe. This looks pretty decent. And a cart door ice cream truck outside. Cowabunga! Hey. Well, it's a tall tourist, but cowabunga! <laughs> Do not feed. It's only sandwiches and chocolate. Apples can't feed them. Yeah, it looks like there's little snacks in the grass. We're going into the petting area. Looks all right. Oh, look! You want to have a kick around with a goat? Look at this little fella. We're not actually allowed to touch him at the minute, though, as part of the COVID rules. You're rather lovely, aren't you? Are you having a wash? Oh, look at these. Oh, you're rather lovely. Whoa. Here's a little meerkat enclosure. There's loads of them in there. These ones all huddled together. Another one sat right on the ledge. Almost touch him. Mm. They're so awesome. It's lovely through here. Nice and cool as well. Find come to these parks at the minute because you've got a pre-book. Really quiet. It's actually quite nice. I should imagine come the 19th though when the rules lift. Probably get a bit different. I wonder if you'll still have to book time slots on that. Oh, you know what I mean? What a strange looking tree. So the measurement chart. Sai is more or less the height of a white rhino. Well, still you look like the height of the ostrich's tail. He's slightly bigger than the rhino. Well, I think I'm more or less the ostrich. Right, we're going to have one last look at the lions, see if they've got up from having a little nap, and then we're going to head round to the gift shop for the last fourth call. Oh, well, they're still chilling out. Oh, he's having a bit of a stretch. Oh, big old yawn. And down we go. <laughs> the baby ones there. <laughs> Here's the flamingos. Loads of them in here. Right, so let's have a look in this gift shop. Have you seen the penguins? He wants it, he wants. I've got some hand puppets. Nice cups. Some cool cuddlies. Well, that was a cracking day at Africa Alive. We're really lucky with the weather. It's now started raining. Cheers, guys, for watching, and we'll see you again. Bye.